play. Uh oh. Uh oh. Verdansk. Uh oh. I think that's really about it. It was it was like so basically on Twitter it was just like this 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 clip it just said Verdansk. Um now to be honest with you, um if this is confirmed, now I did get a little bit of information about it. I did hear that Verdansk was coming spring of twenty twenty five, which is if you do like the calculations and the and and the and the, and the trigonometry and the, and the calculus, um, the spring of 2025. So that's what, April, May. So what's that? March, April, May. Um, and if I'm being honest with you, that sounds. I'm, I don't want to say that sounds about right because to be honest with you, I don't know like Call of Duty scheduling. But bro, we do have a new resurgence map that might I think that's going to come through uh, this month or even it, bro, it might come in like the next 24 hours, which is I'm pretty excited about that. But um, we got a new resurgence map. Obviously, we got, we got a new Call of Duty coming out, um, you know, in like two months. Um, and then, bro, for Verdansk to like, you know, to finally come back, uh, you know, with the Omni movement, with the uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 metrics and like mechanics and stuff like that. I'm going to be honest with you. That seems pretty cracked. Now, here's what I would say. Um, we, Because like, let's be honest. We haven't seen Verdansk in what, two to three years. Obviously, we got Rebirth Island back. That was a big thing that everybody want it back i would listen i would argue to say that more people most likely want a rebirth island back than verdance i'll probably say that last year i think um last year a lot of people a lot of people gave up on you know one of verdance back you know because to be honest with you bro like verdance been gone for like i mean if, if i'm speaking and if i'm speaking in the tense of last year verdance been gone for about what two two to three years so i'm thinking okay cool like they're not going to bring it back it is what it is and then now to have like a screenshot saying that Verdansk is coming back. Now, I can see this going two ways, right? I can see this going because here's what here's what I think. I think Verdansk should have been came out. I think they should have been, uh, you know, I think they, I, th I think that it should have been came back or whatever. Um, I think that to be honest with you, bro, I think that here's two things that's gonna happen. I think number one, I think everybody will love it. You know, Verdansk coming back, and then you got like the Call of Duty Black Ops Six. Uh, mechanics with it that sounds yeah that sounds really cool but then you have another thing to where a lot of people are not going to be interested because it took too long or you know this is like the wrong time um i don't really think that for dance I, I think for dance is like a um the thing is it's a map it's not a um it's not like a mechanic for a game it's not a slide cancel it's not a red dot it's not a mechanic for the game so if call of duty was to I don't know. Well, obviously, slide canceling is in Call of Duty right now, but um, let's say like Call of Duty took took out something that we really love, and it's like a mechanic or whatever, and then they put it back in the game. I think. I mean, I wouldn't say we would, we would be excited about it, but like we'll be like, oh, like you know, thank you, just just Call of Duty, thank you for you know putting a mechanic back in the game, whatever. But whenever it comes to like a map, especially like a map that's been gone for about two to three years or maybe four years, bro. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I feel like it's been gone for too long. Now, 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 when Rebirth Island came back, because uh, whenever Rebirth Island came back, it was gone for about one or two years. And again, a lot of people wanted it back. I wanted it back. Um, but the thing is, it wasn't gone for too long. Yeah, it was gone for like a Call of Duty. It was gone for like one year. And oh, yeah, it was gone for like a year and some change. So, they, you know, they, they, you know, they brought it back. But. Um, when it comes to like Verdance, I'm really excited about like, you know, and if it actually comes through like, you know, the spring of 2025, I'm gonna be really excited about it. But if I'm talking, bro, like there's so many games dropping in 2025. You guys listen, you gotta, you gotta understand this, right? I'm not saying Call of Duty will be overshadowed or whatever, but let's be real. The 2025 Nuketown thing, we're going to be, we're going to be more headlocked on the multiplayer of Call of Duty. And then bro, for God's sake, bro, you got GTA dropping later that year you have a, a new mafia game you got all these great games dropping in 20 bro 2025 is gonna go absolutely nasty for video games it's crazy bro it's gonna be a 2023 all over again it's gonna be absolutely crazy um and you know listen you know bro i don't even have to explain this but you do know that when rockstar drops their game bro it's like it, it's like a taylor swift album release nobody's dropping their album on the same day as taylor swift Nobody's dropping their game on the same day as Rockstar. 
So everybody's going to be dropping their game at the beginning of the year, uh, in the summer of the year. But guess what? That fall era area, you better be careful when you drop your game. Because guess what? Rockstar's coming, bro. Rockstar is like Drake. Rockstar is like Taylor Swift. You better not drop your game on the same day as, uh, as GTA 6. That is, the most, that, that is literally the most anticipated game of all time. I'm glazing right now. Yes, I'm glazing to the max, a thousand percent. I'm licking my lips. Glazing. Yeah, I'm glazing heavy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. GTA 6, is the, it, that, that, man, that might go down as, it, bro, it, it's legit right now. It is the most anticipated game ever to ever even be heard of. Bro, you better not drop your game. And this is a warning to any video game companies out there. You better not drop your game on the same day as GTA 6. D bro, that's like a nightmare. That's like a nightmare. Now, to be fair, whenever we do get like, you know, more trailers for GTA 6 and, you know, they come out for like a uh, for like an announcement date or whatever, people will now know, okay, cool, GTA 6 is coming out on this day. Boom. Bow. Okay, cool. You know what? We're dropping our game. We, we got to hurry up. We're dropping our game like a month before this date or whatever. Do not drop your game on the same day as GTA 6. That would be the worst mistake of your life. Do you understand? I, I'm, no, no, no. I'm not even exaggerating. If you drop your game on the exact same day, first of all, first of all, nobody's going to be in the house. Everybody, everybody's either going to be buying the game on their consoles, which, bro, first of all, I heard the game was like 200 gigabytes. So I, sorry that I'm not talking about Call of Duty, whatever. Let me get this off real quick. Bro, I heard that GTA 6 was 200 gigabytes off the rip. Not even no update, no nothing. It's 200 gigabytes. Brother, this is GTA 6. This is the biggest release. This is the biggest gaming release of all time already. It hasn't even came out yet. Brother, I'm going to be outside in front of the GameStop. I'm getting my physical copy. Brother, this might go down as the greatest video game ever. You never know. But guess what? This is the greatest video game uh, uh, like lead up or greatest video game, like, like, like the most anticipated game to ever grace the planet oh yeah you best believe bro i'm at gamestop bro i'm waiting in line bro i'm getting my physical copy bro i'm bro bro like i'm not gonna be inside looking for other game no bro whenever it's gta time bro as a matter of fact don't drop your game in the same month as gta call of duty we know you like to drop uh in the fall area call of duty you might have to you might have to make it audible you might have to drop your game in december Call of Duty, you might have to drop your game in September. Oh, sorry, in uh, in December. I can't, Call of Duty, please don't drop your game in, in, in even the same radius. Don't drop your game. Don't try to be funny and drop your game in like the next week or in the next two weeks or the next month. Call of Duty, don't do that. Call of Duty, don't do that. It'll be the worst mistake of your life. Don't do that. Do not do that. Call of Duty, be smart. Drop your game either in the summer or in December. That's the only that's the only those are the only months you can do it. In the summer or December. It would be the worst mistake of your life, Call of Duty, if you drop it in the same radius as GTA 6. I promise you. Nobody will bro, bro, I, bro. I promise you, bro. Like dropping a game near a, a, a near, bro, dropping a game near a Grand Theft Auto game, bro, is like dropping an album next to like Taylor Swift's day. Or like or bro, it's like it's like dropping an album on Taylor Swift's like album day, buddy. Nobody, no, -uh, we're not listening to you. We're listening to Taylor Swift. What are we talking about, bro? We're not playing your game. We're playing uh, Grand Theft Auto Six. What are we talking about? We're not. We're not. I'm so, respectfully though. Respect. This is not me disrespecting no company or whatever. But come on, don't don't try to be funny. Don't try to test nothing. No, bro. It's gonna be the worst mistake of your life. I'm sorry I just rambled on or whatever, but um. So, yeah, again, essentially, we're going to have a dance in the spring of 2025. Kind of excited about that. But also, hopefully, you know, it hopefully, hopefully it still looks the same. But like, if I'm being honest with you, um, I feel like a lot of time has passed. So we'll see what happens. Maybe she's got to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you guys did enjoy, share your favorite smile. And.